Good day, brethren. You're welcome to RCCG New Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboye. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, October 2, 2024, we are looking at the topic, Very Easy Prayers, Part 1. A main verse is taken from Hebrews 13, verse 5, which says, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Our text is taken from Psalm 34, from verses 1 to 4, which says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. There are five categories of prayers, very easy prayers, easy prayers, hard prayers, dangerous prayers, and impossible prayers. For the next few days, I will be teaching on each of them to help you have a more robust prayer life. That's according to our Father and the Lord. The first category of prayers is the very easy prayers. This is praise and worship. Praise and worship is very easy because you don't have to be a theologian to praise God. Even little children can praise him, according to Matthew 21 from verses 15 to 16. David said that his soul would not forget all of God's benefits, and so he will bless the Lord, according to Psalms 103 verse 2. As the songwriter said, if you count your blessings and name them one by one, it will be very easy to praise God. David said, I'll bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth, according to Psalms 34 verse 1. You can praise God non-stop because praising Him is very easy when you count your blessings. It's very easy to do, yet it's extremely powerful. Unfortunately, many Christians don't praise God much. So, um, over the next couple of days, we'll be looking at different categories of of prayers and we are starting with very easy prayers um, today and um, what our father and lord is terming as very easy prayers are uh, uh, praise and worship he said you don't need to be a theologian to praise god to worship god if you just remember all that god has done for you if you remember what god has brought you through you would praise him so we're expected to praise God at all times. Let his praise be in our mouth continually. It's very easy to do. It's as simple as thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Thank you for yesterday. Thank you for today. Thank you for tomorrow. And there are several thousand million reasons to praise God on a daily basis. When we were about to open the first parish of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Abuja, I was in my hotel room praying concerning the program that we hold that evening and asking God to perform miracles, heal the sick, and save souls. While praying, God said, Shut up. Am I your house boy? Have you thanked me for all I've done for you in the past? I said, Oh Lord, thank you for all you have done in the past. Tonight, please heal the sick. Again, he told me to shut up and that I should only praise him and not ask for anything for the next three days. It was very difficult, but I did it anyway. By the end of the third day, he said, select elders who will be going around teaching the doctrine of the church to strengthen its foundations, because all you have seen thus far is addition. Get ready for multiplication. The result of praising him then can be clearly seen today, as RCCG has indeed multiplied greatly. So we see our Father and the Lord who was giving his own example that, you know, he was seeking God's face concerning a program when they wanted to plant a church in the city of Abuja in Nigeria. And uh, he was praying about the program when God told him, no, that he should praise him for praise Him for all that he had done for him in the past. And uh, um, he did that and God came and told him that he was going to multiply the church and the church has been multiplying since then. So it's not difficult to praise God. If we just think of all he has done for us in the past and what he's doing for us currently, we we'll have several reasons to praise God. And, you know, it's such an easy prayer that God loves praises. He, he habits the praises of his people. He will come down speedily to give answers or to give responses to uh, whatever we actually need him to resolve when we praise him. Do you engage in this very easy prayer of praise and worship? How often do you praise God? Look around you. There are multitudes of things you can praise God for. Praise him continually for them. I know there are some things that you wish he has done, 
But what about all that he has done already? If you find it difficult to praise God for what he has done, how do you expect him to do more? Don't be an ingrate. Go ahead and praise God with all your might. So, it is very easy to engage in praise and worship. So, let's ask ourselves, have we been engaging in it? Have we been thanking God and praising him for all he's done for us? If you look around us, like I've been saying, there are several reasons to thank God. Uh, You woke up, you have the breath of life in your lungs. A lot of people had passed away overnight. You are still alive and only the living can praise God. So why not use the opportunity to praise God? You have a job, you have money, you have food to eat, you have clothes to wear. Even if you don't have some of these material things, the fact that you are you are alive, somehow, somehow you are in a better condition than some other people. Some people are having it tougher than you are. So one way or the other, God has been good to you. God has been kind to you. God has been wonderful to you. Praise him for it. Thank him for it. And those things that you're expecting him to do that he has not done, that is occupying your attention and is occupying your mind, you will see those things receiving solution quickly. I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Our action point says, spend the rest of today praising God. Don't ask for anything. Just praise him all day long. And as we do so, we'll reap the rewards in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us talk to God. Father, we want to say thank you. We just want to thank you. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you for who you are to us. Thank you, God, for our past. Thank you for our present. Thank you for where you are taking us to. Thank you for everything you have done for us and that you are doing for us. Thank you because you have a few great future for us. Thank you because even when we are going through tough times, you've always been faithful to us. Thank you because it is you who has kept us. Thank you for the salvation of our souls. Thank you for the knowledge of you. Thank you, God, for the privilege to know you. We say to you, be all the glory in Jesus' name. Lord, help us to continue to always thank you and to be grateful to you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.